Hi guys, morning. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be probably a quick one. Today I just want to test fit some some old panels that I've got, body panels, to see what parts I can use um, because I plan to to repaint the panels, so I won't be getting sort of aftermarket, you know, fully painted panels. I'm planning to do a custom color scheme on this, so I'm going to test fit the bits that I want, I have, and see if I can use and what I can't use. Uh, also, I'm going to have a look at the gas tank. I want to try and open it uh, today. I haven't opened it. I'm going to have to drill it open to see what the state of inside of it is, whether I can salvage it, whether we can get if there's any rust in it, if we can get it cleaned out. The pepcock's going to need to be checked as well. Probably need to be rebuilt, um, so that way we can run it off its own tank. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please like and subscribe. Let's get straight into it. All right, guys. So here we are. Here we go with the bike. These are some of the parts that I've got. So first off, this is actually the original panel that came with the bike. This is the front. Sorry, this is the the left. And this is the right. So these are original panels that came with the bike. Um, they don't seem to have any cracks or, or anything. All the lugs seems to be good. Um, actually, this lug here has been re repaired. So I might need to f do this properly. Um, also, there's a, there's a hole here as well. So that needs to be sorted out. So there's going to be a lot of plastic repairing. I've never done it before, so it's going to be a learning curve for me. I've got uh, somewhere. I've got the other mid panel somewhere, but this is a, I believe this is an aftermarket panel. Um, but it's quite good condition, so it may end up getting used. I have the other piece of it somewhere. So here is the other side of it with the mid fairing so we've got two sides um, I've got this for now I'm just probably gonna just put this on just to see what the look is this is an aftermarket one probably gonna be changed because the lugs were all wrong on it and stuff like that the tabs um, although I'm doing a little bit of custom work I have an idea that I might actually mold this into the mid fairing uh, and make it as one so that's another option because these are very hard to get now and they're very expensive so i've got to weigh up the options on that one also here is the gas tank that came with the bike the original gas tank you can see the colors again um, so we've got some rust down here and uh, we've got some rust around here so I dread to see what it's like inside. It is empty. Or oh, there's a tiny bit of something in there. But it doesn't sound great, I'll be honest. <laughs> so I'm going to have to drill this open and see what's going on inside. So for now, I'm just going to seat it on the bike just to, again, I'm just sort of partially semi assembling the bike just to get an idea. It's nice. I just realized tank's got the side rubbers as well, which is good. Great to see on here. I need a set of them for that as well, uh, where the tank sits on the frame. So it's got those on it, which is nice. Also got the front mud guard, which also is original for this bike as well. So we'll be using that. And that's in good condition. Um, so yeah, just can tidy up and paint that. So again, so far, everything I've put on the bike is what came with it. This is actually from the bike as well. I had just actually primed this. So this is all original for the bike. It used to be gray. So 
actually I need to root some of these cables actually um, I just need to go through here otherwise I can't actually get the get this on so let's see if I can roughly reroute some of these cables for now I've got to do them properly <coughs> I'm gonna tidy up this loom and retape a lot of it so for now we're just gonna shove it out of the way if I can Guys, let's see if we can get this thing open. Don't have the key for it. side up and see the latch Yeah. Hey, there we go. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, I can see a lot of uh, filings in there, but I also think I can see a lot of rust. I've got a little camera. I'm going to try and get that camera in there and have a look. You can see all those filings that I let me just clean this up a bit. You can see all the bits that I filed down there. But also you can see it's not too bad. I'm not sure if that's rust on the side or the filings stuck to the sides. I think I'm gonna have to rinse it out. Actually, it's not too bad. Definitely has some rust in there. Um, you guys can see it closer up here. But I think we can save this. It's not too bad. Let's see if I can hold this for you guys to see. So you can see all the filings that are sitting there. I do need to rinse this out so we can see properly. Um, Let's get, there's the pepcock. Let's see, which way is it? This way, sorry. Okay, here we go. So we do have some rust, which I expected. It's not as bad as I thought it might be. Um, but yeah, we do have some rust in there. Uh, let's have a look around here. Okay, there we go. There's the bottom of the pet cock. Again, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I can see, you know, clean metal. Um, so I think this could probably get rinsed out. What I'm probably going to try to do first is I've got loads of white vinegar, a couple of bottles here actually. Maybe get some white vinegar in there for a couple of days, swish it about, and see if that's strong enough to deal with it uh just close it up and leave it if it's not then we can get you know a specific product for this there are products out there and also kits that you can reseal the tank with as well so i think we're going to start with the vinegar and uh see how that, that goes all right guys so what i did is i just poured some hot water in there switched it around i've also loosened this pet cock pet cock here see if we can get it off and uh, let's just sort of rinse out the initial sort of rust with water. And then also I'm going to put this really ultrasonic cleaner first just to see if we can clean it up a bit. Hopefully we can restore it, just changing the seals and all the filters and stuff. lovely yeah see the state of this this is all the stuff that was in there so as I said this whole thing can go in the ultrasonic cleaner I can take it apart and put in the ultrasonic cleaner um, probably want to take this off for now because this whole thing is going to need to be cleaned up there is rust on it that it's more surface rust so it looks like it should be okay I'm not sure about this hole. I don't remember seeing this hole on my other tank, so I'm not really sure what this is. Somebody knows what this hole here is for. Um, let me know. I don't know if it goes all the way through. Uh, somebody let me know. All right, so uh, water coming out already, and it's brown. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah. 
Wow. That is disgusting. Let's do a couple of rinses out like that. Uh, let's get the camera in there now and see what it looks like. Okay, let's see. You guys can see what I'm seeing. So, yeah, again, as I said, it's not definitely salvageable. Uh, let's see here. It's going to have to be filled to the top. I'm going to have to get loads more vinegar because I haven't got enough to fill this all the way up. Um, I'm going to fill it up and leave it for a couple of days and see what it looks like so yeah I'm going to put the uh, I'm going to block the bottom again and uh, fill it up and leave it for a couple of days get loads more. Alright guys, so I've been sloshing this around and it's brown already. Um, I got probably about five liters. That's all I could find in the shop. So I'm actually going to order some of this stuff on Amazon. Um, some large bottles. It's much cheaper. But I've I've I filled it sort of about a third of the way, and um, that should deal with most of the lower part, which is where most of the petrol is. So I'm going to leave this leave this overnight. I'm going to order some, as I said. Hopefully I can get that tomorrow. I'm going to fill this up to the brim, and then I'll just leave it for about two days. We'll empty it. We'll have a look. Maybe we'll redo it again. And then I'll look into getting a sealer and try and seal in the tank. And I think it should be good to go. So the bike itself, so we've been cutting, <laughs> cutting down a rose bush. The bike itself, um, what I've been doing is just test fitting parts and stuff so I can see what brackets that I'm missing. So I am missing the brackets that hold these, that hold these together and also connect the side fairings. So the bolt is in here. I'm not sure whether it was on there and I took it off when I painted this and it's somewhere or whether it was never on there. I can't remember because when I got this bike, it didn't have any side fairings. So I have a feeling that it didn't have any brackets on both sides. So I'm going to have to find the brackets, get those online and then we can test fit the side fairings. Um, everything for the back is there. As you guys can see, I've connected all the back pieces and all the bracket you know it's, it's literally three mounting holes anyway that go into the subframe so they're all there ready to go um but it's just the side brackets that i'm missing and the lower bottom fairing brackets as well so i made my list i'm going to try and see if i can get onto those parts guys this is where we're going to leave this one for today so as you see the bike is running i think there's a little bit of a carb leak though so i do need to have a look at that but i do need to get the carbs off because i've got to start working on the cooling system i need to start putting in these parts here there is a i know there's a stud that was broken down the other side 
which I need to get out so that I can I can mount this um, coolant link here. Um, I've got one of the radiators. I need to get the other radiator. I also need to source all these brackets as well, um, so I can start fitting all this stuff in here. Um, what else do we got to do? I've got coolant hoses already and um, also I've started stripping the brakes so those are going to get rebuilt as well. So here's one of the calipers that I, that I started, started to take apart. You can see how bad these are so I'm going to be soaking these in penetrating uh, oil. I'm going to take them, take them apart, I'm taking the bolts off already. I'm just going to take this last bolt off here and then I'm going to soak these in some penetrating oil and uh, let's see if I can get these out and hopefully they are still okay the pistons but we'll find out when we take them out just using some of this ACF 50 which is brilliant stuff and uh, yeah just gonna let that soak and uh, yeah, I'll see if I can get these um, pistons out. So that's going to be it for today, guys, on this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's just a quick update on the um, progress on the second Barnfield build. So until the next one, I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Thanks for watching. Going crazy.